what is one of the determining factors for new launch prices today? If a land parcel is transacted lower than its surrounding land parcels, will launch prices be lower? Hello everyone, this is Hester and welcome to my channel. Land price is one of the factors that determine the launch prices of new launch developments. Over the past few months, we see no bids for Pine Grove, low bid for Marina Gardens Crescent site, and even low level of interest for Zion Road, and even Upper Thomson land parcels. With a lower demand and lower price transacted for land parcels, let's see if our prices are affected. Let's take the most recent launch, Lanthorn Mansion for example. Among all the other developments launched, Lantos mentioned land bid price is actually the lowest. However, prices did not drop and 75% of the units were actually sold on launch day. Why is that so? Lantos mentioned is actually one of the first developments affected by the new harmonization of floor area. So what is harmonization? Simply put, URA, BCA, SCDF and SLA has been using different floor area definitions among themselves and the calculation of floor area has been rather confusing. Hence, URA wants to make everything consistent by harmonizing how we measure floor area among these four agencies. Now, the important part, how will this affect buyers? What buyers are buying now is just for the livable space. This livable space will be around the same as the new launches you see in the past year. But the floor area declared will be much lower as the aircon ledge is not included in the calculation of the unit's floor area now. The PSF will also be higher since the reflected size is smaller. However, are you really paying higher? I've compared all of Lentor's developments 2 bit 2 bar, smallest unit type. For Lentor Mansion, I've selected the 4th floor unit transacted at 1.483 million with a PSF of 2,257 as a comparison to other units. If we include the calculation of the aircon ledges into the floor area, for example, 3 square meters equivalent to 32 square feet, add this aircon ledge space into our Lentor Mansion's 2 bed 2 bar 6 by 7 square feet, we get 6, 8, 9 square feet which is similar to the other 2 bed 2 bars in the area. Following which, we will use the purchase price of 1.483 million, divide it by 689 square feet, the PSF we get is 2157. This PSF is actually within the range of what has been transacted for the other landfall developments and the livable space is actually around the same. After the new harmonization definitions were introduced, you see that the land prices transacted are much lower. This gives buyers an illusion that prices are indeed dropping and what they are thinking that recession is coming is actually right. But are their actual selling prices reduced? Just like Lentor mentions launch price, the unit prices are relatively the same. The logic of a lower transacted land price equivalent to a developer selling lower is pretty irrelevant in today's market. This low land price is mainly making up for developers' decrease in saleable areas. Will new launch prices drop then? I don't think so looking at Lentor Mansion. This is actually the new pricing that buyers have to accept today. However, just like a coin, there are two sides to it. Though harmonization has shown that prices are not very affected, there might be potential issues when you sell in the future. Buyers won't know which developments are subjected to new harmonization rulings and a high PSF tag to your property might fail to attract buyers. There are several new land plots that offer opportunities, yet there are some layouts you might want to avoid. If you want to understand more about these developments, contact me. Once again, this is Hester and I hope to see you in my next video.